Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Welcome back, barbecue friends. Today, we're firing up the Louisiana Grills pellet grill here. Now we're gonna be cooking up some pork back ribs. Now, as always, I'm starting off with some good quality meat. Now I did something a little different this time just to simplify the cook even more. These are going to be no wrap ribs. I like doing it that way because you can see exactly what's happening throughout the cook. Now I prepared these ribs ahead of time just to get you up to speed. I'll show you what I did. Okay, we're starting off here with some nice pork back ribs that I got from my local butcher shop, Medell Brothers Quality Meats. Now I removed the membranes put them in this bag and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna marinate them in this Valerie sweet sauce this is normally a sauce that I finish the ribs in but I thought I'd keep the flavor profile consistent and use the same flavoring at the beginning of the cook and the end of the cook and here they are ready to go you could just see the pork back rib I just love the amount of meat on there on those short bones just always a good bite after I set my temperature here to 250 degrees. We're just going to get that up to temperature, get this on. Now, I recently got an Amazon store going because some of the products I use here I like, and every griller should have a nice grill brush. Now, I bought this set of grill brushes. It's got a brush, a little more aggressiveness here. It's got a little scraper on one side and bristles here. Everything's stainless steel. I'm going to put a link in the description. If you're interested, you can visit my store. Just going to start off by giving the grill a little brush, then we'll get those ribs on. Okay, we're going to start these ribs off bone side down. Close our lid down here. I'll bring you back throughout the cook, let you know what I'm doing. I'll see you in the next step. Okay, we are one hour into this cook. Just going to open it up. Now all I'm going to do here is give these a flip so that they're meat side down. Maybe I'll change the orientation of both as well. Just like that. There we have it. I'm going to close this back down. We'll check back in another hour for the next step. All right, we're now at a total cooking time of two hours. Time for the next step here. So what I'm going to do, all right, I got a generous amount of brown sugar here. I'm going to take the same sauce that I marinated the ribs in, add it to this. Mix it up, then we're going to coat our ribs. About that much. Give it a quick mix. Now, I really like the taste of the sauce, but I also really like the sweetness on a pork rib. So I'm thinking this will just combine the best of both worlds here. Let's go coat our ribs. Aha, uh -huh. you can see how these are coming along. Got a little bone poke coming. I'm just gonna spoon some of this on here. Okay, we're gonna flip these ribs over. Let's do the back side here, the meat side. Okay. 
There we are, nicely coated on both sides. We're just going to finish these off. All right, let's close our lid here. These are going to take approximately another hour. I'll bring you back when I do the next step. All right, we're now at the three hour mark. Let's check on these, see where we're at. Oh, these are just looking beautiful here. Now I'm less concerned about the temperature, more uh, just want to check for tenderness here. Whoop, hit the bone there. Ooh, that's nice and soft. Probe's very tender, very good. All right, let's do for temperature here, see where we're at. 198, these ribs are done. Okay, I'm gonna take these ribs off the grill. We're gonna let them rest, and I'll bring you back for the taste test. All right, we are back for the taste test here. And of course, my brother Jeff just happened to come here when it's time to taste. I don't know. I smell pork. Very suspicious. But anyway, now you're not just going to get my opinion. You're going to get his opinion. What he thinks of these ribs. You want my opinion? <laughs> oh, we want your opinion. <laughs> All right, we're just going to flip these over, do a couple cuts. Oh. Get ourselves a nice sample here. I wish you could smell this. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, here we have it. So 250 degrees for a three-hour cook. And you can see very simple seasoning. Just putting that sweetness on toward the end. Here we have it. Help yourself. Let's see what you think. You can see, even though we're on a pellet grill, you still see that pink smoke ring there. Oh, I think we did all right for smoke profile. Good. Let's give her a taste. Mm. Just bites clear off the bone there. Right off it. Oh, exactly beautiful. what you want. That sweet is beautiful. A little bit of sweet tackiness on the outside. It's not overly seasoned by any means. I'd say just the right amount of seasoning. I'd, perfect smoke, perfect seasoning. I'm really happy Perfect with that. Sweet? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I tend to over-season. It gets a little too salty. I really like this. It's more on the sweet end than the savory end. I'm clean already. I beat them. Look at that. I hope this grill helps you. You want to use your pellet grill for a nice, easy, no-wrap recipe to do back ribs. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you. Smash that like button. You want to see more cooks like this? Click that subscribe. I like the ribs as good as you like the subscribe button. Trust me. Hit the subscribe. We'll see you next time on Barbecue. Barbecue with Greg. And yeah. hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg. One of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.